I'm sorry, was I supposed to... Knock? Hey, I know that guy! I am simply here to apologize. I have not made a video in a little over a month. It was completely unplanned. It is always my goal to entertain. I can be better, and I will do better. Thank you. Hello everybody, it is great to be back. So today we're gonna to talk about YouTube's new monetization policies. And I'm gonna read the email right now, but I'm sure that whatever YouTube has come up with, I support fully. I've supported all of YouTube's decisions in the past, in the present, and I will in the future. This video has now been approved for monetization. Today we are announcing changes to the YouTube Partner Program. Okay, makes sense. Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, Seal Outside Wave, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. That's... What? What? Huh. That can't be right. I, I'm sh surely I have 4,000 hours of watch time. Let, let, let's look it up. Only 800. Okay, you know, that, that's gotta be a mistake, you know. I posted some new videos, so you know, I've gotta be killing it right now. Uh, okay, so. I don't have the 4,000 watch hours, okay? But, you know, surely, surely I've got the subscribers, right? Uh, that's right. I never have gotten 1,000 subscribers. Okay, so, all joking aside, obviously I know my channel wasn't exactly thriving. I mean, I made six videos this year, and I had made videos at all since 2014. So, it's not like I've been consistently making videos. So, honestly, I can understand completely where YouTube is coming from with this whole thing and that's not me just you know trying to stay monetized or trying to you know please the youtube gods or anything like that so obviously when the news first came out i i had my mixed emotions at first i found out about it on friday and the news came out on tuesday initial thought was hey that's that's wrong they're taking away my ability to make money even though I'm barely making anything. It's the idea that I'm having something taken away from me even though I feel like I didn't do anything wrong. So with that, it's extremely discouraging. You know, I, I felt like I worked hard at the time when I was in high school to get the subscribers and to get the views and I felt like I earned being a partner to begin with. And now that I've gotten it, I'm be having it get taken away from me. But at the same time, I can understand that because I'm not giving YouTube the commitment that I once did when I was making videos as consistently as I was back then. With me saying that I'm coming back and I still consider myself, you know, a YouTuber right now because I still think about YouTube ideas and doing YouTube videos in general, I still at the same time haven't come back to the point where it's obvious that I'm still gonna be making videos and I'm a YouTuber again. I still had the mentality of being a YouTuber because through that period where I wasn't uploading videos, I stopped thinking of myself as a YouTuber and a vlogger, but now I think I'm back at a place where I feel like I am one again, but in my head, I haven't quite earned that yet because I'm not putting in the work, the perk, or if you want the honor of being in the partner program, you should put the work in to, you know, get those rewards. And that's where I completely understand that. Like I said, considering my lack of commitment to it, don't think I do deserve it. You know, if I was working constantly, making content that I felt was worthy and spreading my content to other people and getting them to watch it, then I wouldn't have found myself in this situation. Or even if I, made a video once a week or once a month, you know, at least through that two to three year stretch where I didn't make videos, it'd be interesting to figure out where my channel would be right now. And I know I talked about this in my old video about why I quit YouTube for a while. You guys can check that out there. It's There's always a what if, but I'm finding myself in a situation right now where odds are, you know, my YouTube partnership will be taken away and that's okay. Like I said, I earned it but I wasn't holding up my end of the bargain. It's like when you get a job and you know, you're doing good in the beginning, but if you just totally slack on your job, why should you keep that job? You know, they, they have the ability to fire you. And in a sense, this is a firing and 
it makes total sense. But at the same time, I can understand all the outrage from people who are upset about what is happening to their channel. There are many people whose channels that I have seen who, you know, they're posting videos a lot more. There are some people who you know, took a break and they actually needed that break and they're coming back and they don't have those watch hours despite the fact that they have the subscribers. But I think that in a way this is a good thing. And, and here's why. So for me personally, I think this is going to encourage me to work harder, but it also poses me with the question of how bad do I want YouTube? How bad do I want to continue to make videos on this platform? Which is potentially a test that maybe I should have had a long time ago in 2015 or 2016. Maybe if I had had this come up around that time, I would have come back because I realized I do want to do this and I want to continue to do this. The AdSense was a crutch. Because I still had it, I had nothing to work towards or nothing to work for anymore. Once you have the partner program, your goal is to, I want to get those views. I want to get more money. I think it's easier to get discouraged about you put a video out and you're getting barely any money off of it and you're not getting a lot of views. Maybe that within itself is more discouraging rather than you put the video up and your goal is to get more views because you want to get the partner program back. And I think that with that, that's going to make me want to work harder. Even though this is not the way that YouTube's thinking, my mentality is YouTube doesn't think that I can do it. But I know that I can if I put the work in because I've done it once and I think I can do it again. I didn't get the thousand subscribers, but it doesn't mean that I can. I got 800. I, I think it might've been at 900 at one point. All I gotta do is get that 900 or 800 more and through hard work, I, I can do it. The YouTube wasn't a livelihood for me. I wasn't living off of it to pay my rent or my bills or anything like that. And most of the people who are affected, I don't think are, they're, it's not their main job, I believe. I don't know this for a fact, this is a speculation. So it's not really hurting anything like that. And another way that I think is a blessing in disguise is when I used to do YouTube, I talked about this with Storm, who is the real banana seed, if you guys remember him or know of him. And he and I were making videos around the same time in 2012, 2011. I don't exactly remember the time, but we were making videos at the same time. We would talk back and forth a lot and we weren't the only ones. We had this small set of community with all these people who are within the same amount of subscribers, a lot of times got the same amount of views and we were all helping each other out and giving each other advice on our videos. When I came back and over the years, that really went away. I think that with this, it could bring that community back and that would be great because that was one of the things I loved the most about YouTube was this community, this community of encouragement and enthusiasm for making videos can help revive the smaller side of YouTube. And I really think that it went downhill. Once they set up that whole videos recommended for you, your entire right side of a video you're watching is recommended videos for you, which is pretty much other videos made by people you already watch or videos that have over 100K. And when I was making videos in 2011, 2012, most of those videos on the right hand side that were recommended were videos from channels that were within the same amount of views of me and subscribers and a lot of them were people that I watched and was friends with. When they brought that in, I think that it made it harder for smaller channels to grow. Most of the people that I watch have at least over 100k and that's what has made it harder to find smaller channels with not as many views. Maybe I'm just not looking the right way. Maybe there's a new way. But in my experience, it's harder to find these new YouTubers with the new system. I say new system, but it's been around for a while. And I truly believe that through hard work, you can achieve anything you want. I truly believe that. If I worked harder, made actual videos instead of made nothing, then I could have, you know, gotten to where I need to be to continue to stay in the partner program. I understand why they did this. And I think it's a good idea. My issue with it is that, so the whole reason why this is even happening is because Logan Respect Paul decided that he wanted to show a dead body in a suicide forest. And he's being punished, rightfully so. But here's the thing, the smaller YouTubers are being punished for something that he did. The, the 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers wouldn't have prevented Logan Paul from posting that video. So I just think it's funny that this is their response to that situation is, hey, we're gonna restrict the partner program because the smaller YouTubers are the ones who screwed us over this time when they didn't. And the sad thing is they're gonna be taking ads off videos, have nothing wrong with them. And this, and this funny thing and sad thing is, despite the fact that, you know, 
they're cracking down on the smaller YouTubers, making it harder for propaganda videos and videos that just shouldn't be on YouTube. They're still running ads on Logan Paul videos. If I remember correctly, he still has ads on his offensive and racist Japan videos. And that's where I think that this whole stance becomes ridiculous. I support this decision for YouTube with their new partner program, but I don't think that they're holding up the other end. He still makes them a lot of money. They punished him a lot with taking away his YouTube Red series, taking him away from Google Preferred, sure, but he's still gonna be making a lot of money and a lot more money than we ever would. I guess that's where I'll leave that. With that being said, I am going to lose my AdSense in 30 days. Well, not 30 days anymore, that's what the email said. It's going to be February 20th, so it's a race to the clock. Obviously, I do not expect to get 4,000 watch views. I've got that much time to get, and YouTube doesn't think I can do it. I probably won't even get it. I am going to try because there is nothing I like more than a month-long distraction that I don't need in my life. With that being said, because YouTube doesn't think I can do it, guess what? I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get those subscribers, and I'm gonna get that 4,000. But I'm really going to try to push for this threshold i i think this is potentially going to be a lot of fun for me and maybe send me in the right direction of what my youtube will become and that concludes this video this might have been long this might have been too much maybe this wasn't even needed to be said but i gotta get those four thousand have you guys been listening so tell your friends tell your brothers and sisters your grandmas because i need the uh 65 over demographic because that's the one that even jake paul doesn't have please hit that subscribe button because i need 197 subscribers haven't you been listening i am still outside of wave and stay rad